PPRBD was started back in 1966 by an intergovernmental agreement or IGA between El Paso County and the City of Colorado Springs. As the Pikes Peak region grew, so did we. Today, PPRBD not only services El Paso County and Colorado Springs, but Fountain, Manitou Springs, Monument, Palmer Lake, Green Mountain Falls, and the town of Woodland Park in Teller County. So what do we do? Well, we make sure contractors have the proper licenses to do work here in the Pikes Peak region and ensure all work is done in a code compliant manner from plan review and permitting to new construction, remodels and re-roofs. Our goal is to keep citizens safe through efficient and consistent application of adopted codes and standards. We do that by reviewing the design, construction, quality of materials, use and occupancy of all buildings and structures under our jurisdiction. The Pikes Peak Regional Building Department is unique because we offer the same codes, same licensing, and same plan review services to the eight different jurisdictions that we serve. The result of that is everybody's operating under a consistent set of rules. A consistent approach to codes across the Pikes Peak Region is important because a builder that's operating in Monument and Fountain, they're working under the same building codes uh, with the same inspection staff and they can rely on consistent application of the codes. We all know that time is money, and consistent application of codes saves both. The department is governed by the Regional Building Commission, a three-member governing body consisting of one county commissioner designated by the El Paso County Board of County Commissioners, one council member designated by the Colorado Springs City Council, and one elected official chosen by the other member jurisdictions served by PPRBD. Probably one of the biggest misconceptions about regional building is that we are the city or we are the county and that we get tax funding. That's actually not the case. We aren't the city or the county. We are a separate entity and we don't receive one dime of tax money. Instead, the department is completely funded through permit, plan review, and license fees. With that said, we are proud to say we haven't raised fees in more than 15 years and we have some of the lowest fees in the entire state of Colorado. In fact, when it comes to single family homes, we have the lowest fees in the state and in some cases, it's not even close. The fact that we have the lowest fees in the state of Colorado for residential, I think is really a shot in the arm for the local community for affordable housing and savings. Knocking a couple dollars off the cost of a house saves a lot of money in the long run. It takes everyone in the community to keep our homes, schools, hospitals, offices, retail stores, and other buildings safe for public use. Building codes and safe construction practices help make it all possible. We hope to build on those safe practices today through education. The more informed homeowners and contractors are, the smoother the building process will go, and the safer our community will be.